Mitzvah Rebbe discusses this at length in a few places. He uses, obviously, a lot of voices of Kabbalah and Chassidus. Mitzvah Rebbe explains what is the idea of Golos. Right? We're talking about that the, Eden, the exiles are gathered because of the Chos of Mishnais. What is the purpose of Golos? What, what, what happens during Golos? So the purpose of what, during Golos there's the fact that the Yidin have to be mavadid in each side. It's right. Noach Siddhas explains the exiles, the Yidin were scattered over the whole world in order to refine, to elevate the different sparks. Then there's also the aspect of Golos that the Yidin are separated one from another. They're spread apart. Usually when you have a body, you have a hand and a foot, and they're all working together. There's a, you know, there's a certain, everything is together. But in Golos, they're all chveis, this Yid ends up here, this Yid ends up there. So he explains like this. He says, Mishnayis, learning Mishnayis, has a power, first of all, that it's mavarad in its it, it, it elevates the sparks. And the discusses a lot. I mean, there's a bit of it's We know there's many different aspects of, of, of elevating the sparks. A lot of it, you know, is through Yizavoyd. He has to work hard with himself and so on and so forth. But it is the level that of, through a Yid learning Torah. And Torah says, this is kosher and this is treif. This is allowed, and that's not allowed. That itself causes a separation between good and bad. I mean, you have, what the Rabbi speaks about it, in the Gerasa Kaidus in many places in Chassidus, that through learning Torah, there's a very strong uh, amount, a very strong level of the, uh, the elevation of the sparks that's done through learning Torah. Torah, particularly Mishnah, because Mishnah is Halacha Lamaisa. In Pilpul, there's always room for an opposite opinion, but Allah says, this is kosher, this is treif. So when you have here a mixture of good and bad in the world, by Torah saying, this is okay, this is not okay, you separate the two. The good gets separated from the bad, the good is recognizable on its own, and the bad becomes separated, you know, and dealt with on its own. So through learning Mishnah, you know, so that the six Sidre Mishnah have to have particular koyach and separating good from bad. There's another Nikud that he says, through learning Mishnah, he explains the Shadish of Yidin, the, the conceptual amount of Neshamas is 600,000 Neshamas. The 600,000 Neshamas start from number 6, just each one gets, Noach Siddhas explains that the completion of each number is when it turns into 10, and that then turns into another 10, and so on and so forth, so you end up with 600,000. But the root souls, in a certain sense, starts with the number 6. That's why you have 600,000 Neshamas, Yidin, the left Mitzrayim. Through the Shisha Sidre Mishnah, it affects the Nishamas in a way that it unites all the different Nishamas together. So not only does it have the Koyach to be Mavarad in its side, just to refine the sparks, but it also has the Koyach that it connects all Nishamas together. So both aspects of Golos are Pichsidis, side the aspect of Golos that were in Golos to elevate the sparks in the world, and side the aspect of Golos that even themselves, so to say, are spread apart, we affect the, the rectification of the sparks and the connection of Yidin through Limud of Mishnah.